Um, I think the fact that it's uh, dark the whole way through gives sort of a mysterious feel. Um, yeah, because you so associate the dark and night yeah. as a scary sort of time. Yeah, and also um, the way that the writing comes up sort of it's not really full sentences, but you still get a gist of what's trying to be said as well, sort of like with um, You Better Not Go Alone, sort of gives that sense of sort of not, I don't know, it's sort of like you get a bit sort of nervous about you, like what's going to happen, mm -hmm. like because you start thinking what could happen if you go somewhere at dark times on your own. Yeah. It sort of adds all together, along with sort of like the zooming in of her face and the sort of the more scarier images rather than sort of everything seeming to be sort of like the happy and all right. I think it's a really good thing because um, yeah. it doesn't give away the whole uh, the whole cast to start with so um, you're left wanting to know who else is going to be in it, what else is going to happen. Um, yeah, yeah. And also, um, it <coughs> helps to build that sense of tension as well because you don't know, you really don't know what's happening because you literally just see her face and like her behind sort of like a fence or whatever it is. You don't really know necessarily 100% where she is you don't and really what know she's doing. You have no you? idea, so it makes you kind of want to go and see it because you think this looks like it's scary because it's obviously like dark and everything. But also you don't know what's going on, so you kind of want to justify what you think is going on as to what is really going on yeah. by only having one character. Yeah, I think mainly the um, mainly the music definitely does because it's um, sort of upbeat and comical, um, and you dissociate it with a sort of a child. Yeah. But then the way, um, but the way it's sung helps to bring it round as well. Like. Yeah, the way she's the cutting and the to, cutting. Yeah, definitely helps to bring it round to add it to the horror way rather than making it <coughs> light hearted. I think they work really well together because the way it's cut, like we said mm -hmm. a minute ago, the way it's cut, it works really well as it sort of doesn't, it's not just one solid like, bit of music, it goes back on itself and the way that some of the words link with what you're shown. Yeah, and it's You're in for a big surprise, you see that bit when it goes, you're mm -hmm. in for a big surprise and her face comes up. It's and it's really links. challenging what um, the viewer would expect as a sort of stereotypical yeah. horror movie sound. Um, it's obviously not, you wouldn't associate that with a horror movie at all. But I think because if you, if you weren't watching and you just heard it, by the way it is cut, you could tell that it is still a horror film. There's something more to There's it. There's something then. more to it. Well, it's, you might not necessarily think it's horror, but you know it's not exactly like light-hearted kids film because it's obviously like, cut weirdly and skips and jumps about. Yeah. I don't think there's much to remove. I think like how it is works, it just needs slight altering, sort of when, say, the name of the film comes up, keep it up for longer so that it sticks in the like viewer's mind as that's what the film's called rather than them having to think, Oh, do you remember that trailer? What was the film called? Yeah. Like you would know it. And I think um, even though um, we said earlier that it was a positive point as well, I think maybe making the storyline slightly clearer might encourage yeah. more people to come because if it's too confusing, they might. They might be um, oh, is the whole film it. like this. Yeah, they is might there not actually really a story understand. Line you want to grasp like. them maybe a bit more by including more yeah. of the storyline and explain what's actually going to happen. Yeah, because we're not giving it away too much, obviously. It's obviously it's going to be really scary and there's going to be scary <laughs> things happening, but. Um, Normally in a trailer, what the audience you is get used a to little is, bit. yeah, like more teases. Yeah, <laughs> that's a word. The bit where her face is literally on her face, because it's such like it fills the whole screen with like an image of the character. You really remember like seeing that really because it's quite obvious mm. and in your face. I liked it at the end where um, just her eye popped up. Yeah, because. Um, it's quite, it was quite unexpected hard. and it can make you jump, can, can make the audience jump, yeah. which obviously is a bonus in a horror trailer. <laughs> but also I think the song as well makes it really memorable. Because it's, sort of like, it's one of those songs you get in your head. And then you can't get you it out can't, of your head. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then you, 
like start th singing it and be like, where did I hear that? And then you could like link it back to the trailer. Yeah. Uh, I would. I'd definitely go see the film, but I wouldn't. I prob personally, I probably wouldn't go and see it at the right. cinema. I'd love to um, have it on a DVD or something because um, I prefer to watch it at home rather than actually at a cinema because I, uh, I get really scared. No, I'd probably watch it at the cinema because you get a bigger experience because obviously it's on a bigger screen. You'll feel the like with the trailer with it being all close up. If those sort of shots are in the film then obviously you'll get more of an impact by watching it at the cinema than at but home. But then for people like me, yeah. obviously um, it no, opens... You get scared. It opens... Um, if it is a success, it opens for when they do do DVDs. Yeah. People like me will still go and buy it, so... Or rent it or whatever, like. Sure, Still yeah. see it. 